Chapter 8 Leather Quest Find the leather in this stained glass window. Chapter 8 The Wayward King King John and the Magna Cart. The big question Why is Magna Cart such as an important document? King Richard I died in 1199 CE. Although he had spent very little time in England, people there still mourned the death of Richard the Lionhearted. Many people had taken up arms and followed this royal crusader to the hot deserts of the Middle East. Many fought alongside him in the battle. Without children to succeed him, Richard's youngest brother, Joe, became the next king. King Joe was not as popular as his brother. For one thing, he failed to hold on to some of England's land in France. Less than five years after John became king, the king of France attacked the regions of Normandy and Anjou. These were King John's ancestral land. John accepted to defend these lands, but without his nobles, support, he was unsuccessful. Richard I. King John lost the lands in Orange. Wars cost money and someone had to pay for them. To do this, King John raised taxes. He taxed nobles and wealthy merchants and he placed taxes on cities. He also made it more difficult for people to hunt in the royal forest. Dissatisfaction with King John grew among the ruling class. Then King John claimed church property and disagreed with the Pope's choice of who should become the Archbishop of Canterbury. Now he had yet another enemy. In fact, the Pope was so angry with King John that he instructed the priests in England to limit church services. Most people were prevented from participating in the daily and weekly rituals of the church. These were unsettling times indeed. Two years later, in 1209 CE, the Pope excommunicated King John. Many of the English lords were now completely dissatisfied with their king. The king was just as unhappy with his nobles. King John holding model of the Abbey Church he founded. The Pope ordered English priests to limit church services. As a result of the feudal system, Nobles had a huge amount of power. King Joe wanted to lessen their power and claim some of their land. The nobles wanted to limit the king's authority. A major conflict was inevitable. Eventually, King Joe agreed to the Pope's candidate for Archbishop of Canterbury. But by this time, some of the more powerful nobles had already decided to act against him. In 1215 CE, following another English military defeat in France and additional taxes, these nobles rebelled and turned against King John. They captured London. For a short time, there was a military standoff between the rebellious nobles and King John. An important group of English nobles rebelled against John in 1215 CE. In the summer of 1215 CE, both sides agreed to talk about their differences. After much debate, the nobles presented King John with a list of demands. These demands were written down in a document that later became known as Magna Carta, or Great Charter. The Charter would guarantee a list of rights to the barons, 
the townspeople, the church, and free men. The king was required to consult with the nobles if he wanted to make new laws. The king was also subject to the law of the land. Essentially, Magna Carta limited the king's authority. King John was not pleased. However, it soon became clear that if he did not agree to the charter, his nobles would continue to rebel. In June 1215 CE, an official seal was placed on Magna Carta. Copies of Magna Carta were sent out to different parts of the kingdom. Magna Carta was an important written statement that limited the power of English kings. An official seal was placed on Magna Carta. Magna Carta. Magna Carta really only benefited some members of society. Feudal lords, the church, the merchant class, and in a general way, all freemen. Still, the document stated that the king must consult with others if he wanted to make new laws or raise taxes, and that courts must recognize the rule of law. In this respect, it is considered to be one of the most important documents in English history. Many of the ideas in the document have been included in the constitutions or governing documents of modern democracies. King John did not have to endure this humiliation for too long. Four months later, he died of a fever as conflict continued to range throughout England. King John's son Henry was crowned king of this troubled land. Henry III was just nine years old. Within 50 years of King John's death, England would have a new governing body or parliament. This parliament included the king, the lords, the knights, and the townspeople in England, providing more people a say in the government and laws. Marble Coffin Lead of King John Copy of Magna Carta from 1225 CE Robin Hood Did the English hero Robin Hood really exist? It is difficult to say. The earliest reference to the legend of Robin Hood appears to date from about 1377 CE, and the oldest manuscript is from the late 1400s. The stories of Robin Hood's adventures first appeared in the form of ballads. As the legend goes, Robin and his band of men lived in the forests of northern England. Robin was thought to be a hero because he challenged the local lords and even the king. English kings had raised taxes and introduced strict hunting laws, which prevented many people from entering royal forests. It is possible that there really was an outlaw like Robin Hood who challenged these laws. However, it is also possible that a fictional character named Robin Hood was created by storytellers to explain how difficult life was for many people during this period in history. Robin Hood and his band of outlaws. If you were a lady in waiting, queens during the Middle Ages would have had ladies in waiting to attend to them. If you are destined to become a lady-in-waiting, you too will leave home at an early age to begin your training. Only girls from noble households can wait upon other noble ladies, including members of the royal family. Therefore, your training takes place in a noble household 
You are expected to acquire excellent manners. You learn to dance, sew, and ride a horse. You learn to read and often to speak a foreign language. You might even learn to be a skillful archer. Young girl from a noble family. A lady in waiting learned to sew. Your many duties include helping to dress your mistress, brushing her hair, and helping her bathe. You also tend to her clothes, repairing them and cleaning them. As with all ladies in waiting, the purpose of your training is to ensure you eventually marry a nobleman. A lady in waiting would brush her mistress' hair. Medieval musings. 1. King John inherited a nickname that pokes fun at the fact that he did not have as much land or wealth as other kings. What was his nickname? 2. Skilled craftsmen made armor. What kind of craftsmen did this?